Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, I am participating in the quarantine tag. I was tagged by Kenya from Kenya's Decor Corner and when I heard that she had tagged me, I was so excited. I said, oh gosh, I'm gonna get right on it. Uh, this tag has 10 questions pertaining being quarantined during this difficult time. This should be fun, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, question number one. Did you prepare for the quarantine or did you wait until the last minute? Um, we prepared, you know, pretty much um, on time. I would think we did. Uh, I don't think we waited to the last minute. Um, I didn't know how serious this really was going to get. I don't think anybody knew how serious it was really going to get until towards the middle when things were really getting bad and you know we're hearing so many deaths and things like that and the stores are running out of things um <laughs> so i would say pretty much kind of in the middle but no we didn't wait to the last minute uh, not really uh number two are you secretly happy <laughs> are you secretly happy you are home <laughs> or are you miserable and can't wait to go outside this is a good question. No, I'm not secretly uh, happy uh, because number one, I'm a stay-at-home mom anyway, and I do my work from home. So um, I, I'm not secretly. Everybody knows that I like to stay home. I'm pretty much a homebody. Even my son, he'll be like, Mom, you're a homebody. You like to be home a whole lot. Well, I do, but I like to get out once in a while, but not too, too much. Um... Let me see the other part of the question. Uh, can you wait or are you miserable? No, I'm not miserable. I don't feel miserable. Sometimes I will feel um, a little antsy, like I just need to... It's not like I want to get out because I don't like being in the car driving around a whole lot because I have the tendency to get motion sickness sometimes. So I'm not too fond of being in the cars, <laughs> going anywhere, especially long distance, even short distances sometimes anyway. So that's not too exciting for me. But sometimes I just feel like I just wish I can go into the, the stores. You know, I want to go shop. Um, for, those, for that part, I feel a little, I uh, just want to get out and breathe. And I know we can go out and take walks and things like that, but for some reason, I, I guess I'm just feeling, it's like a paranoid feeling where I don't want to be around too many people and we're not supposed to anyway, even if you do go out and walk. I just want to be away from the polluted air, <laughs> you know, all that stuff. I just rather stay home where it's just, it's just safer. Number three, who is the last person you checked on during the quarantine? Well, that was yesterday, which was um, Easter, Resurrection Day. I checked on my mother. Uh, I haven't, I hadn't heard from her in a while and she didn't respond to any of my texts. Um, I had sent her a couple of videos of uh, things that I had, uh, nothing pertaining to YouTube, but just other things on TV that I wanted to share with her, make her laugh. And she didn't respond to it, so I was getting a little bit concerned about her, like, I hope she's okay, because she sounded a little down to me, and I'm not saying she was, but she sounded that way. So I checked on my beloved mother. Oh, and my daddy. I checked on him as well because normally he would call me and say, Happy Easter, Liz, and he hadn't done it. Not that he had to. He didn't have to, but I just wanted to check on both of them. So, Number four, how do you normally spend your day during the quarantine? I spend my day like I do any other day, pretty much. Um, when I get up in the morning, first thing I do is I spend time with God, I pray, study the Word, uh, there's certain declarations that I confess, uh, I get my coffee, um, sometimes I'll do my exercise first, then I'll get my coffee, you know, just get ready like your normal day, um, after I get showered and all that. 
uh, then I do whatever needs to be done around the house. Um, if I'm preparing for a collaboration, I'll do that. Um, if I have to do any cleaning, I don't normally have to fix breakfast um, for my husband or uh, Aaron because you know everybody eats at different times, gets up at different times. So, number five, who are you quarantined with? My husband and my son so it's just the three of us number yeah that was number five who are you quarantined with i just said that number six have you been outside and how many times uh yes i've been outside um i can't say how many times it's generally maybe once a week i try to squeeze it to maybe a week and a half maybe two weeks you know guys i really don't even like to go outside really i don't want to have to go into these grocery stores where there's people around and when we do go i i like to go super duper early in the morning like be there when the store first open at seven o'clock in the morning and hopefully there's not a line at least it wasn't this past time that me and my husband went, um, there was no line. We were able to go in and it was early in the morning. I'm gonna say not too many times, maybe, maybe a few times. Uh, sometimes we'll go out and get some fast food, but we're not getting out of the car. Number seven, how many hours per day are you sleeping? I'm sleeping really good. I'm gonna say at least, between six to eight hours. It depends on what time I go to bed. Uh, sometimes, well, every night we go to bed late anyway. I'm not gonna say I go early because I don't. I'm not an early bird going to bed. I'm not an early bird rising. However, I wake up before anybody in the household because I like to get my day started. I mean, when I say like to get my day started, I'm not an early person, but I just find myself getting up earlier now. Um, not now because Aaron is at home doing his schoolwork, so we always did get up early anyway. But it's just that I want to get my Bible, open it up, and talk to God and do all that. I like to do it where everybody is asleep, where it's peaceful. That's the best time to get up and start your day, ladies, when everybody is asleep or everybody is out the house. So, generally, six to eight hours. And if I go to bed too late, sometimes I'll go at one, sometimes two o'clock, then I'll probably sleep to about eight o'clock in the morning, so. Okay, next question, number eight. What is your favorite food to snack on during the quarantine? Oh, man. I tell you, now, this is not a comfortable thing of this quarantine because I'm used to going to the gym. I do exercise at home, but I'm telling you that my exercise has not been the same since this quarantine. I have found myself snacking on a few times different things here and there, and I shouldn't, you know, because I'm trying to lose weight and I, I'm, I need to continue my journey. And I'm not going to stop just because I put a chip in my mouth doesn't mean I'm going to get a whole bowl of them, you know, and if I did get a very small little handful in the napkin or something, you know, I would not do it like the next day, the next day, next day. You know, I'll I'll keep everything, you know, controlled. Sometimes chips, <laughs> I hate to say that, because I know my mother is probably gonna watch this video and she's probably gonna say, chips, what are you doing eating chips? But not every day, not every day. And sometimes I have the tendency to grab some of my, um, my jelly beans, oh man. I told my husband, I said, you know what? I, you're gonna have to eat these, or I'm gonna have to leave them alone. Cause I caught myself grabbing a handful, putting it in my mouth. You know, but I'm like, okay. But for the most part, I'm doing well though, with my fruits and vegetables and things like that. But every now and then, yeah. So pretty much, a chip <laughs> or the jelly beans bad girl <laughs> I'm a bad girl hurry up Jim open up quick okay number number nine 
What have you been watching on TV? I don't watch TV that much. I guess because we have our phones and there's the internet and I'm always watching YouTube videos when I'm not working or doing a project. Um, um, I have a favorite show, General Hospital, that I've been watching for decades ever since it started. So me and my husband, we watch that together. And I watch that, I'm continuing to watch General Hospital because my grandmother and her daughter got me started a long time ago. So ever since then, when I was growing up until now, for decades, I have been watching General Hospital and they are no longer here to this day. So I continue to watch it in their honor. I just do. I mean, I like watching it anyway. So, but I'm watching it more because of them. So they would be very proud of me. Um, I watch old shows like um, The Six Million Dollar Man. Oh, I love to see the bionics. I just love that, the bionic woman. Um, I have recorded shows that I record like every week. So I'll watch those from time to time. Um, there was um, a show that used to come on um, with a whole lot of people. I can't think of their names. The Old Soul Food. It was a series that used to be on. So I watched that. Uh, the weekly shows that come on, uh, Housewives of Atlanta, uh, 911, things like that. So I keep busy with watching those things as well as YouTube. Okay, number 10. How much toilet paper did you buy? Now I am not a hoarder, so we don't hoard. We just buy just one pack. That's all you can buy because they have uh, signs in the stores now where it says one pack or two pack per family. So I just buy one pack and sometimes I'll be wanting to buy two, at least two, you know, but they won't let you get two unless I get one and then leave the store and then come back later on and buy another one because sometimes I may buy a few things for my mother, you know, when she doesn't want to go out to the store. So I'll do that for her sometimes and Sometimes when we're not going out, she'll go out and buy a few things and stop by our house and say, hey, I picked up a few things for you. Like she knows I love to eat beans. So I have got about 10 packs of beans, guys. You know those packs like this, small packs? So I am set for I don't know how long and I was tempted to grab a few more and I'm like, no, I, I, I have enough beans. With 10 packs of beans, I'm gonna, it's probably gonna last me maybe close to six months, if that. Maybe not, maybe a few months. But anyway, this was so much fun. I mean, uh, I just love this. I love doing tags. I enjoyed answering all these questions. Thank you so much, Kenya, for thinking of me. I appreciate it. I was so happy when you told me that you had tagged me and I was like, I'm getting right on it. Okay, there's some people that I am going to tag this time. Saving with Mrs. V, Lifestyle TV with Edwina, All Things Lux by Robin, Create with Cindy, My Happy Home, Really Good Living, The Boss Lady 76 C. S and last but not least deals with Lady P and welcome back Lady P anyway guys I hope you have enjoyed watching this tag I sure have enjoyed doing it if you if anybody wants to um, do this tag and I haven't called your name just feel free I think we all should really take part in this this is because this quarantine is affecting all of us so if everybody can just do a video on YouTube, that would be wonderful, okay? And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad to have you. Thank you guys so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.